Hello, this is Michael from Economy, and today's video will be the first of the eViews tutorials. As you can see from the website here, eViews is a program for innovative solutions for econometric analysis, forecasting, and simulation. I advise you to download a copy. You can do what I've just done for the purpose of these videos and download the demo copy up the top here. And it basically provides you with a 30 day trial for the software. In this video today, we'll be showing you how to input your data from your Excel spreadsheets into eViews in three forms of cross section, time series, and panel data. So now we'll just exit this and we'll go into eViews here. Now you should be greeted with this box, but I don't really use it a lot. Shows you how to create a new one, open an existing one, open a form file, or you can just uncheck this box here, close that down, and this is how you import from Excel. So we've got our three files here, time series, cross section, when it loads, and panel data. <laughs> and so what we're going to do first is the cross section. So if we go down to file, to import, and import from file, and you can see we'll choose the cross section 2008 here click open and it comes up with this page here you have list of the country names GDP these are all the indicators that I'm using so CO2 emissions population fossil fuel cross section is the easiest data type to input into eViews you really shouldn't have to touch anything right now you just click next make sure that the data type is character for country name and for everything else make sure it should be number it can also have date when you're using time series data which we'll see in a minute after you check that everything's alright click next and what you want to check for is the basic structure here which by default on this time it says undated with ID series we don't want that we want unstructured slash undated for cross-section data it comes up it's already calculated the observations if you have eView 7 you might have to input this yourself but either way once it knows you just click finish and up pops this window here this is your work file and as you can see you have your co2 emissions your country name fossil fuels gdp population these are things that i have inputted from excel but you also have two extra ones here. The first one is C. That is the intercept. And the bottom one here, resid, that is your residuals. So, so when you're writing out your regression and you have the plus U, that is your residuals. And that is basically all you need to know for inputting cross-section data into Excel. So what you need to do is just click save and you want to save with double precision so that's 16 digits that saves the data up until 16 decimal places and just click OK name your file and you're sorted for cross-section so what I'm gonna do is delete that and now we move on to time series data so same process again you go file import import from file and now we're gonna bring in the time series data here which as you can see is from year 2001 all the way to 2010 and it's just for one country time series data uh, right here I've used the UK as an example what you need to do is once you get to this stage everything should be fine you click next and here you want to make sure that this year column is under the data file the data type date and that will let eViews know that these are the dates you're using. Next you want to just double check again that all these remaining ones are the right data type so minor all number as is expected then you click next should open up here now you have this column here 1 2 3 4 5 1 to 10 basically and um, you can just ignore that it's fine it, eViews will sync the years and those numbers together what you need to look out for is the basic structure is dated specified by date series because you have the dates in there so you want to make sure it remains as that it will also 
eviews will pick up the frequency or at least eview eviews 8 will pick up the frequency eview 7 you might have to specify that it is annual data you are dealing with here and the identifier series you want to make sure it does say year and then once that's sorted you just click finish again you have your work file in so you can save your work and you can move on right now we delete that and the final data type we'll be using here is panel data so as you can see from the excel file panel data is time series and cross-sectional data combined so in the country column here we have Australia 10 times to show for each year we are having GDP CO2 population fossil fuel then we move on to Brazil and again for each year you have GDP CO2 population it keeps going down this is how you need to arrange your Excel file for eViews to recognize your data so if you go back into eViews again you go file import import from file we'll go to panel data here this first sheet is always fine um, you can also have the option here to read series by row, uh, i.e. transpose the incoming data. But using this can be risky. It still depends on how you lay it out. I don't recommend using that. I recommend just arranging your Excel file like this. It's a lot easier. And then you click Next. Now here, you want to know country, data type is character, year, you need to change the date and the rest should be number and that should sort your file out so my mouse is playing up there yeah, they are all number then you click next go into here and eViews has recognized that this is a dated panel structure it also knows that the cross section ID series is country which it should be and the date series is year which again it should be it's also recognized it is annual data you need to check all of these to make sure that they are correct before you click finish then once again you have your work file here and it's ready to use so thank you for watching this video if you like what you see please hit like please subscribe and look out for the economy website and mobile app coming soon thank you right